Rumors are circulating at the State House about whether Governor Sam Brownback may be leaving his post for a position on the international stage. KSNT News reporter James Ryan tells us what job President Trump may be offering the governor and how lawmakers are reacting to the idea. After handing out a Kansas Humanitarian Award, Governor Sam Brownback was coy, neither confirming nor denying rumors that he may be leaving his office here in the State House for an ambassadorship in Rome. I'm just not going to make comments about uh, any of that. During a press conference Thursday morning, Governor Brownback was asked about reports that he's been in talks with President Trump about becoming the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations for food and agriculture. While he didn't deny the reports, Brownback made it clear he's focused on Kansas. We got to get the budget balanced here. We got to get a new school finance formula written. We're under a court order now. We're in the remedial phase of that. During a Republican lunch, Executive Director of the Kansas Republican Party, Clay Barker, said he hasn't been able to confirm anything. But that it's not that hard to believe. He's had a lot of experience with agriculture and foreign affairs, and that's what this position would be. Here in the State House, many lawmakers are cautiously optimistic about what Brownback's departure could mean for the state. The legislature has been pretty much left on their own uh, to deal with the problems uh, the taxes, the budget, uh, school finance. If Brownback were to leave, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Collier would step in as governor, which some lawmakers say may be a good thing. It might open up some more possibilities for us to uh, pass a much needed tax reform to balance our budget. While he doesn't know for sure, Barker says he imagines that Brownback's name is being floated around with a few others and that no official offer has been made. Reporting from the State House, James Ryan, KSNT News. Barker points out that Brownback's possible departure would probably have little effect in the short term. If chosen, Governor Brownback would have to be confirmed by the U.S. Senate, which could last through the 2017 session.